welcome all of you to Orchestra Mega Store YouTube channel. Thank you for watching us. Please subscribe us to get more videos about our products. Today we gonna present you about ES503DB Technologies Calm PA Stereo System. The ES503 is the ultimate portable calm speaker PA system. Perfect as a portable PA system for live sound as well as playback applications, ES provide a simple yet powerful plug and play solution for solo musicians or small bands, and is the must have sound system in the touring DJ equipment, thanks to a built in digital mixer and a stereo Bluetooth audio receiver. Let's have a look on how to install an ES503 system. As you can see in the subwoofer you can fix the speaker pole on that. Make it tight and adjust the height according to your comfort. Then you can either join the top speaker together and fix on the pole like in the video, or you can separate it and fix on the another speaker stand. And in ES503 the top speaker and powered by the amplifier from the subwoofer. So connect the speaker cable from sub out to the top as you watch on the video. If you set up the top speaker separately, you can see there is two output from the sub, so connect it accordingly to the top as separate speaker. That there. Then I'll power it up. Then I might connect, let's say, a microphone. So again, we've got our two balanced inputs, but we also have a mic instrument input. So you could connect an acoustic guitar to it, or you could connect a microphone to it. So I might connect my, my microphone there. Let's say I was a singer-songwriter and I had some playback material. I might connect my mic there and then use the two balanced inputs for some sort of playback material. Now the DSP is quite simple. You have access to each of these inputs and, and uh, gain for each one. So if I wanted to go into my microphone input, I have access to my different uh, gain settings for the mic preamp. And then uh, beyond that, I've got my different balanced input so channel one I could set my level there or I could go to input two and set my level there so uh, let's say we're connecting a stereo signal so channel one or left would go into my uh, balanced input one and my right signal would go into balanced input two so I'm basically saying it's gonna be a left right signal set up there and then now it's now everything is linked together then I also have a aux level so I can set my, my different inputs specifically for my aux mix. So if I wanted to adjust my, my microphone signal going out the, mox, the, the aux output or my left and right signal going out the aux output, I could, con I could configure it there. And then the top one is my actual output level for the aux mix. And then beyond that, in the main page, we have our main level. So basically I can 
keep my, my, my uh, mix balanced and then just turn everything up or down. So now if I turn, turn it up to the right, now we're basically, uh, you know, we're wide open. So there's no sort of attenuation in the system. So if I wanted to, to use the Bluetooth input capability, I could go into the main menu and find the, the Bluetooth menu. If I go in there, I can then enable Bluetooth. And in this case, it's on. So now any Bluetooth device that I, ha I might have that has my, my music content on it, I can pair my device to this and now play music content to this system while keeping in mind that everything is still connected here. So I can mix in my Bluetooth signal to this. So if this was being used as uh, you know, small performance PA type system, I could leave everything connected and then walk away, play music from my phone for house music in between, in between sets. One last thing that I'll, I'll go over is our advanced settings. So we give you some different voicings for, for different types of, of applications. So if I go into DSP presets, I've got just everything's flat or I can, I can uh, also choose different types of EQ as well. So I could change it to uh, anti-feedback. So if I'm using a microphone and I'm concerned about getting feedback between the microphone and the speakers, I might use that. Or custom EQ, so I have access to each EQ filter as well within the system. Or we have things like monitor, so if you're using it as a monitor system, or vocals, so the vocals will be a little bit more present. The club, so you know, kind of hype, low end and, and, and high end. So yeah, quite, quite a few different options for voicings. And then of course the advanced where you can have access to, to each EQ filter. Thank you for watching our video.